It was. I mean, the irony about Solyndra is it's, it's well known because it was spun so well by oil and gas interests to be this incredible failure when, in fact, the portfolio that Solyndra was a, a part of returned more value to the Department of Energy and to U.S. taxpayers than any previous portfolio of companies. So, um, so as far as the, the industry overall goes, uh, you know, the growth is exponential. Um, and as far as lawlessness, we have this century plus old energy infrastructure that's failing. Like it's actually, if it's destroying the planet, it's not working. And we have an alternative today that works. And all it needs is deployment. And that comes from capital and that comes from business model innovations. You have a competitor in these um, utilities that's, their business is dying, they're losing customers, and they're actually fighting for their own survival by limiting how many solar panels or how many batteries people can put on their houses. So you have a group that is only interested in self-preservation, which is against the interest of every other individual on the planet. How do you deal with that illogical supervillain? You have like Lex Luthor and the Legion of Doom as your adversary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's the biggest David and Goliath story ever told. It's, uh, it's the greatest opportunity to transform our lives and people's lives. We haven't had a choice. Like when we flip on light switch and plug in our laptops and charge our cell phones, we've never been given a choice. And for the first time in our lives, we actually have a choice to do the right thing and to get our energy from sources that don't destroy the planet. And like I said earlier, in doing so, we're also creating this $3 trillion economy. Uh, there's no wrong in that. And if you've been following the news, Coal is dead in the country. If you shorted coal, you made a ton of money. The same thing is going to happen for oil eventually. Then it's going to happen for gas. And what are we going to be left with? Our sources of energy that are awesome for the planet. Uh, and so the entrepreneurs who are in this room and the ones that we get to work with every day are building the models that make that transition possible. And they give us that choice. And, and that's important. And even the incumbents in the industry, companies like SolarCity and others that are, you know, have 40% plus the market share, 13,000 plus employees, um, they're amazing, but even they stand to be challenged. Um, I see Ahmed in the room, who's one of the entrepreneurs at Powerhouse. Do you want to stand up? And uh, he worked at SolarCity for three years in structured finance and saw that leases actually don't return a lot of value to customers. So when you want to go solar, it used to be you had to put up $30,000, $50,000 to go solar. Then this lease thing happened, so you can lease the equipment and not own it. But Ahmed and other people saw that's actually not the best deal for you and I and for customers. And so he started his company, SunFi, to wrap the financing of solar into your mortgage. It's the best, most efficient form of financing other than putting up cash. So he left SolarCity um, and is making a lot less money now to build this company to make it easier for all of us to access this choice. Hey everybody, let's take a moment to thank my friend Scott Walker from the Walker Corporate Law Group. They are a boutique law firm specializing in the representation of entrepreneurs and startups. And they encourage fixed fees. They believe that billable hours reward inefficiency, so they will give you a fixed fee to form your companies, do merger and acquisitions, licensing agreements, terms of service, privacy policies, all that important stuff that you need to get dialed in perfectly for your startup. And their lawyers have 10 to 20 years of experience each. No junior associates getting on the job training with your startup. No, they're all pros over there. And if you want to talk to the founder, Scott Walker, you can call him directly, 415-979-9998. 415, that's the area code here in San Francisco, 979-9998. Or you can email scott at walkercorporatelaw.com, scott at walkercorporatelaw.com, or visit Walker corporatelaw.com. Again, call him 415-979-9998. He is a great guy. He's been around for years, coming to all of our events and supporting everything we do. And he is a real mensch, a great attorney. Uh, and he's got a great team over there. A lot of my startups uh, use the Walker Corporate Law Group and have had a great experience. Go ahead and follow at Scott Ed Walker on Twitter too. He loves to get new followers and it's awesome when you guys thank the partners for supporting independent media like This Week in Startups. Okay, let's get back to the program. Okay.